Today is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody back to the channel. Welcome everyone who's new. If you don't know who I am, my name is Sabrina. I'm your virtual best friend. I do cleaning, cooking, and I just do all types of videos. So if you like videos, then you're at the right channel. Welcome. Um, this video here, yo, here is gonna be a collection of a couple things. Um, I finally cleaned out my crazy of the fridge and got that all organized I did a lot of cooking in this video a lot of cleaning meal prepping so if you're trying to get some motivation some inspiration on some recipes and all that good stuff then you have clicked on the right video but enough of this talking let's get into the video all right here is my hot mess of a fridge y'all like I don't even remember the last time I I can't even tell you when I can't even tell you when um, I'm still getting you know playing catch up on a lot of stuff that got behind when I was sick I am feeling better my body's feeling better I'm gonna do an update about that but we're not gonna talk about that in this video we're gonna talk about my fridge getting cleaned up so I was feeling better this day so I am I sprayed the Dawn power wash spray I'm loving this spray. I know you guys seen it all over. People have been using it forever. I'm always, look, I'm late to the game, but if you ain't used it yet, it's totally worth it. Like, oh, it, it, it's just, it's awesome. So what I have right now, I sprayed it and then that rag that I'm using is actually damp with, you know, so I use that and kind of go over it, you know, and wash it. So, you know, get it, get all that gunk and stuff. The kids have spilled things on it. Oh, side note. I know that this wash this uh fridge is busted. Okay. We know it. it is it's it's crusty, busted, glusted, is all of that and above. I'm a renter, not a buyer. So hey, y'all, y'all wanna buy me a new look at fridge? Look, look, I take that offer, okay? You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm gonna put that out there. Anybody wanna come out there and you know you know, I'm just saying. But if not, I know it's crusty. I know it looks a hot mess. But hey, it keeps the food cool. I've talked to my landlord about getting me a new one. Uh, they pretty much looked, hey, if it's still working, they ain't fixing it. So it may be cracked and looking all nasty and whatever. But it is what it is. So at least I got, look, at least I got food in the fridge. Sometimes you just got to, you know, count your blessings. When, you know, things could be better, you'd be like, dang. But then you got to be like, you know what? My fridge is crusty, but at least I have food in the fridge. At least the kids' bellies are full. You know what I mean? You kind of got to have to do what it do. But anyway, so now I'm just going to wipe this stuff up and, uh, you know, get it all organized.
plastic containers I got from the Dollar Tree. They're actually supposed to be for your soda cans, but I use them for whatever I feel like using them for. My kids tear up these yogurts. Like, it's ridiculous how fast they go. I don't know anybody else's kids are like that. Between this and cheese sticks and uh, those uh, mandarin oranges, I cannot keep them in my house. So, what I'm doing right now is just trying to organize my fruit. Um, make it easier more accessible for the kids I noticed when I have it kind of in containers or something like that where they can easily grab I noticed that they will actually eat it um, if it's easy for them to grab they're they're not the type of kids they're gonna search and look and look around their type of if it's, if it's in front of them and they can get their hands on it they will eat it so I try to make all the healthy stuff really easy and accessible um, also these clear um, egg containers I got them from I want to say Amazon I like the large ones because we eat a lot of eggs um, I can literally every time I make breakfast for the kids I use at least a dozen eggs at a time so leading the big containers is definitely needed also um, I like to put my vegetables in containers too that are easy for me to grab so I won't it won't get pushed and shoved in the back but this is the results of my uh, fridge much better look at that you can see everything all of the stuff that we like to eat is super easy to grab um, I'm still in between plant-based and um, I do eat a little egg and a little um, salmon here and there there the kids are not plant-based um, just want to put that out there so you see some mixtures of plant-based and not plant-based but needless to say it looks better I can see everything and now I have to be wasting food Um, the kids got hungry, so I decided to make them a quick snack over some of the leftover stuff that I kind of found in the refrigerator. I am making them um, some wraps. I had some lunch meat in there, so what I did, I had some mayonnaise, and then I realized I had ranch, so I put a little ranch on there, so I know you don't have to do the mayonnaise in the ranch. I just realized I had ranch, do it taste good. Had a little bit of spinach, put some cheese, and then... There you go, put your favorite um, lunch meat. I was using turkey, and then I just roll them up, cut them up, and um, the kids really liked them. They were quick and easy little um, lunch with a yogurt and an orange, and um, Aubrey loves to eat those cherry tomatoes, so that worked out for her. All right, now this is the next day, and I decided I needed to kind of fully clean up my kitchen, and that is what I, that's what I did. I get a lot of questions about the the oven or the stove little groove things those black thing strips that you put on the side to keep from food coming you know falling on the side you know what I'm talking about anyway I got those from Amazon I have a link to my Amazon store in my description box you guys always check it out because I, I pretty much if I can find it I always link it into my Amazon store so you can definitely check that out for anything that you guys see that I have 
um, that you may be interested in.
this is a popcorn machine. If you guys didn't watch my Christmas vlog, uh, you would have known you would saw that my mom gave us a popcorn machine for Christmas, which was an awesome gift because we always are eating popcorn, doing movie nights and all that good stuff. And I love it. We, It's a gift that keeps on giving, I tell you that much, because... We tear up the popcorn, but I'm telling you, if anybody has kids and popcorn, it can literally get everywhere. Sometimes it's worse than confetti. So, but it's still worth it. I'm, st I still love it. Um, so what I'm doing is taking my time to clean it out. I try to wash it, um, clean it out every two to three times. Um, the uses, so because it, you know, the popcorn can kind of start to burn and give you that burnt taste and, and that ain't good. So that is what I'm doing. And of course, I'm using my Dawn Power Wash. The the cleaner racks that I'm using, I do damp them, and, um, so, which means, you know, I put a little water on them so they're not completely dry. And they that really helps me. Right now, I had popcorn got stuck in that little, that little slit area. Anyway. My point is, I'm, you know, cleaning it up, getting it back to normal, and then um, so we can start making popcorn again. Alright, it's meal prepping time. Oh, you guys, if you've been following me for a while, y'all know how much I love to meal prep. I used to do it all the time, like seriously, way more than I'm doing it now. Well, now, lately, I've been doing it. I'm going back to old Sabrina, who used to meal prep, like, faithfully. Like, I used to have my meal prep Monday, like, and it, it really helped me, especially when the kids were little. It just helped me stay... Um, healthy and helped me to um, always make sure that everyone was eating properly and I was too but anywho um, so I'm back to doing all that good stuff um, my plan for this week is I'm going to be making some spaghetti and this time I make my spaghetti with bell peppers and um, I'm not using onions normally I would use onions but I'm not using because I'm still on the low fob mob diet and I'm just kind of keeping onions out of my house if you know what low fob mob is you know that you cannot eat onions and so I've been staying away from them that's why I didn't cook with them even though I'm not going to be eating the spaghetti I just haven't bought any onions because no one's you know and my kids can really care less about having onions but I do use onion powder but anyway I digress so in this spaghetti I'm going to be using bell peppers and some Italian uh, turkey meat um, but if you want to add you know bell peppers and whatever you I mean onions and whatever do you boo um, a lot of my dishes I've been making I've been making it one for my kids because they don't they don't really care too much for onions and certain like like I love mushrooms onions you know all that good stuff but my kids could care less so I just kind of I cook for what they like so I'm gonna be making some spaghetti I'm also going to be making some beans and rice and cheese burritos that's their favorite they love burritos so right now in one pan and when I do my meal prepping I like to kind of cook everything kind of at once I like I instead of just cooking one meal at a time I'll like have my rice boiling have my meat cooking like 
I try to get it all done. It helps me get it done faster. So in my in this pan right here, I have my bell peppers and then I'm going to be putting my turkey sausage. And as for the seasonings, I'm pretty basic. Like I said, I, I use like onion powder, garlic powder, and some um, pepper. That's pretty much what I seasoned that with. And then for my rice, I'm just going to just use some packaged Spanish rice. Nothing's fancy, just something really easy. And then um, and this other, in the, and I put a little bit of butter in there because that's what it calls for. I use two packets of the Spanish rice. And then in the, the water... Um, that's going to be for my noodles, so I just drizzled a little bit of oil in there as well. Alright, now while everything's starting to cook, I rinse these blackberries. And um, I'm also going to add some raspberries in there. I like to have raspberries, strawberries, like fruit already pretty much prepared and set to the side. Um, I Some people put a paper towel in the bottom of it, you know, to keep them dry. I don't need to do all that because I, these things it get ate up so fast that it doesn't even really matter. And um, I always like to have these because I add them in my yogurt. Um, I add them in my chia seed pudding and I'm gonna show you how I make that later on in this video I'll add it in my oatmeal or sometimes I just snack on them just to have to the side so That like I said they get eaten up pretty fast and now I'm about to do that with my strawberries I'm about to cut those up and cut them in half um, I like to wash them get them prepped up because that's another snack that's easy for the kids to grab and for me to grab throughout the day now it's burrito making time i did spray a little oil in there because i am going to bake the burritos again so I just got some burrito shells. I put a spoonful of the rice. I put a little bit of some refried beans. I got the HEB brand. You can usually find those in the refrigerator section with the um, if you're looking for them. They're usually in the refrigerator section where they have like the fajita already pre-seasoned fajita meat in chicken meat. If you guys know about HEB. But if not, you can just use a can of refried beans. That worked just fine too. But I really like those refrigerator, the refrigerated refried beans. They just taste really good. If you've had them, you know what I'm talking about. So um, that's all I'm doing is putting a little bit of cheese, put a little bit of rice, beans, and um, I make quite a few of them. The kids, this was such a, a win. The kids really loved them. Um, and then I add a little cheese on top, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Ooh, little bam, bam, bam. Then I stick them in the oven until they get, you know, semi-brown because, um, like I said, since I'm meal prepping it, I can always put it back in the oven to make it browner, you know, later on. But I just wanted to make sure that the cheese was melt. Um, and that's pretty much it. and this is how they came out i made about three pans of them came out really yummy oh y'all I'd, I'd love when I make some that the kids really enjoy and this one was definitely a winner now for my spaghetti This is my lazy way of making spaghetti. Don't y'all judge me. So I just um, Evened out the meat, you know that I made or with the turkey I put one on one side and then I just pour the noodles and the sauce on top um, I could I usually do about one or two jars, but I don't know I didn't I didn't make it really saucy like I normally do but hey whatever I just was trying to make it real fast 
and then I added some cheese on top of that put it in the oven uh, or the herber the oven and boom that's where it came out kids loved it um served it on the side with some salad and a breadstick y'all there you go and now for me this is what I'll be eating I'm going to be making me uh, some broccoli slaw or broccoli salad, whatever you want to call it. I'm cutting up some green onions. I only eat the green part of them just because for my stomach purposes, um, it's just better for me to be, you know, you know I just can't do onions, y'all. Just as for right now, onions are not agreeing with me. So, but a little bit of the green onion and really the green part of the green onion, it's, um, it just does better for me and so what I season is I put a dash of garlic powder and I put a little bit of black pepper in there and then um, I'm also going to put a little bit of some all seasoning in there just to have that seasoning then I'm using these uh, walnuts and cranberry I don't know they're like caramelized little sugar they are bomb like you can eat them plain um they are so so good um I don't know the name of them. I forgot the name but anyway I bought them from Walmart and if you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about I am using vegan um mayonnaise I did run out of vegan mayonnaise I usually put a little bit more I was so upset because I'm like oh my god I hate when this happens and when you run out of stuff so yeah it was kind of when I first made it it was dry it looked dry because it was dry but the beauty of vegetables and stuff when it sits for a little bit then it didn't become dry anymore it actually turned out really good but I had to eat that the next day I couldn't eat it like right then and there I shook up the little that jar and it was good now for me I am going to be cutting me up some um, cucumbers I love to cut me up some cucumbers. I always peel it and then I also um, take all the seeds out because just for my stomach and digestive purposes, it's best that I don't eat the seeds. But that's, you know, do you boo. Then I also had me some cherry tomatoes. I cut those in half and I put them all in with the rest of the green onions that I didn't put in there. And then I used this goddess season, green goddess seasons that I got from Trader Joe's. I shook it up and it was perfect now I'm making some chia seeds two scoops of the chia seeds and about a half a cup of oat milk and then I mix it up and then I put it in the refrigerator and that's what I eat for breakfast in the morning with some um, you know fruit on top yeah then this and that's pretty much wraps up my meal prep for this week and my cleaning and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more of my meal prep, what I eat, and all that kind of stuff, and what I do to prepare for the week, definitely make sure you guys are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate all the love and support that you guys show this video. Um, share, you know, do all that good stuff. I love everything that y'all do. Um, I'll catch you guys in my next video. And as always, guys, God bless. Mwah.